Florida's no-fault law uh, affects every single case involving a car accident. Um, it's about the most confusing aspect of insurance law as it relates uh, to our car accident claims as you can get. Many of you have heard of the term Florida no-fault insurance. Uh, Florida follows for car insurance a no-fault system of, of insurance. And what this means is everybody in Florida is required to have their own no-fault insurance to cover themselves, regardless of who's at fault in the accident, for their medical bills and lost wages. Now, this policy of no-fault is also known as PIP, PIP, uh, or personal injury protection coverage. So whether you hear people refer to it as your no-fault insurance, your PIP insurance, your PIP insurance, or your personal injury protection coverage, that's all referring to the same thing. And what that is is a $10,000 policy of insurance that follows you around uh, in whatever car you're in. Uh, and it's primary in Florida to pay for your first $10,000 of medical bills and lost wages. And it pays 80% of each and every medical bill that's submitted and 60% of any lost wages that are submitted. Now, even though you're not at fault, you could be sitting at a red light and get rear-ended if you're taken to the hospital or you seek medical treatment your PIP or no-fault insurance is going to be the primary insurance or the first insurance that is responsible for paying your medical bills. Even if the at-fault party has insurance and they've accepted liability and even if you have your own health insurance. As further explanation, I can tell you that um, people are surprised when I tell them that uh, even after the claim is over, your own insurance, your PIP or no-fault insurance is not entitled to get any of their money back from the at-fault party's insurance company. And that doesn't seem to be very fair and it, it's, it's kind of an antiquated system. We've had this system since the early 1970s. But here's uh, how I explain uh, why that system makes sense for the insurance companies. If you can imagine back in the early 1970s, the state legislators uh, called up the heads of the insurance companies to Tallahassee, and they said, we're going to change our system from requiring everybody to have bodily injury liability coverage to cover the person you injure, to a system where you're required to have this PIP or no-fault coverage. And so they get all the heads of the insurance companies up to Tallahassee, and they explained this, that uh, even if your insured isn't at fault, uh, you're going to have to pay out up to $10,000 of their medical bills. And you're not going to be entitled to get any of that money back from the at-fault party's insurance company or the at-fault party. And you can imagine the heads of the insurance companies looked at the legislators and said, well, why would that be a good deal for us? Uh, if we have to pay our own insurance medical bills even if they're not at fault and we can't get our money back from anybody. And the legislator said, here's why we think you're going to believe this is a great deal for you. The reason is this, that in exchange uh, for having to pay out up to $10,000 in medical bills and lost wages for their own insurers, when their insurers get sued, uh, the injured person is required to prove that they have a permanent injury as a result of the accident in order to be entitled to any money for pain and suffering damages. So the insurance companies knowing that every single personal injury claim involves a claim for pain and suffering damages, uh, they jumped on that deal uh, because they know that over the course of a year or 10 years, they're going to pay out less in personal injury claims, even if they have to pay out up to $10,000 uh, for their own insured medical bills. Uh, it's not a great system. Uh, uh, I uh, have been fighting uh, to get the Florida no-fault system uh, repealed. 
uh, hopefully, and I think the legislator has uh, set the year 2018 or 2019 as a possibility where we go back to a system of mandatory bodily injury coverage and no, uh, no fault system. Uh, but that's what we have to live with for right now. It's our system that's been in place since the 1970s. Uh, and un until it changes, uh, the Florida no-fault system requires everybody to have PIP coverage, and that PIP coverage is uh, required to pay out the first $10,000 in medical bills and lost wages.